Good morning. It's a beautiful day here in Pedro Vicente Maldonado, Ecuador, Sueño de Vida. So what we have here today, guys, is regeneration in action. I want you to take a look here at this uh, field and uh, see the different things that are going on. It's, it's mostly bananas. There's a lot of bananas here growing. Here's a beautiful bunch of uh, red cubanos, red Cuban bananas growing. I'm about to take these down because they're about ready. But anyway, what I want you to know about this is that about a year and a half ago, this was only pasture, just cow pasture, nothing else. It was just a hard pan of hard, compacted soil, mud, and uh, virtually no plant life except for grass. And I know it, you, you see there's a lot of bananas here, but there's actually quite a bit of life going on. So here's what we do is we plant these bananas first because they grow really fast. Nine months from little foot all the way up to the, the mano, which is the, the fruit, yeah? And uh, in the meantime, you can see that bananas provide a lot of biomass in their big leaves. So we can cut these leaves, put them on the ground, and they serve to shade out the grass. They also have a lot of good nitrogen and other min uh, uh, nutrients in them. They break down on the soil and they feed the soil. They help to loosen up the soil and you get a food from them. So they're really multi-purpose. In the shade of the bananas and sort of close to the bananas uh, in their protection, we plant Aroma Nacional cacao. This is Aroma Nacional cacao here, a very rare special cacao of Ecuador that we're cultivating. Um, it's that nice, those nice bright yellow pods that you see. The cacao has a delicious kind of like lemony vanilla flavor, really good. So we plant the bananas first. And then once the bananas get up to about head height, we put the cacao right next to the bananas. This is called using a nurse plant. And so the, the banana is essentially like the nurse or the mother of the cacao. It protects it, it protects it from the harsh uh, sun. It um, basically like if there's insects, they'll go to the banana leaves, which is no big deal because there's so many of them and so big and they'll leave the cacao alone. And this has been done for, you know, probably thousands of years, at least hundreds of years that we know, planting cacao alongside bananas, okay? Um, so yeah, that's what's going on in here so far. And then I'll take you down and we'll show you something else.